as I mentioned on my last video, I've got some time off this week, so it's a bit of a painting week. So um, I've been doing some uh, plastic Perry's British imagery. I've got a couple of KGL uh, command stands, and I'm just doing some uh, riflemen to go or musket, uh, you know, regular line troops to go with them. And we've got a couple of uh, here you go, a couple of almost finished uh, line stands there. They've had a fair amount of highlighting and stuff done on them. Obviously, still need to be based. They've just been glued to their uh, plastic card bases. And then down here, we've got the ones in progress today. So just doing the base coating for these ones. They're just getting the uh, first coat of all the colours on them. There's the, again some more British line infantry and some French uh, middle guard running both of those uh, at the same time. And there's some British uh, that have yet to have the cream colour applied. Um, I always found it amazing that figures that look quite as scruffy as these uh, can end up looking uh, like these ones without a great deal of effort uh, and I much more enjoy the highlighting than the base coating so hopefully we'll see how these uh, all end up and I'll put them up um, or we'll add them to this video uh, in the next couple of days. Catch you all soon. Okay we're a bit further on I've just um, finished base coating uh, the uh, middle guard and uh, the British uh, look a bit more like the figures they're intended to be as they've now got their first of their uh, webbing uh, on and, uh, and we'll be getting on with the highlighting. Um, as you probably saw I undercoat my figures in grey primer uh, spray uh, and then give them a black wash to help bring out the details. That just makes my painting easier as my eyesight is fading. Right I'll get on with a bit of highlighting and come back to these in a minute. Here's uh, the first of the two completed KGL battalions. Uh, just finished painting the uh, last stand. You saw me uh, doing the base colours and uh, uh, getting up to just pre-highlighting. These are the figures post-highlighting. You can see I've got the second stand, uh, command stand already finished. Um, I did use, I don't know that I've mentioned it, had my Hanoverian figures to make up the KGR battalions and I decided that I couldn't live with the wrong shakos, not that I'm OCD at all. So I've been painting up these stands to uh, have them as their own independent units. Um, so they were uh, finished one of those uh, stands yesterday and also uh, completed uh, a second um, old guard grenadier base, the uh, still need a little work there on the highlighting of the figures. The ones on the right I acquired off eBay and the ones on the left I've just been painting up myself. Need to do the highlights on their grey coats otherwise they're pretty much uh, finished. Um, and i uh, uh, also got a couple of casualty markers to uh, base up as well. You know, just looking at these in the camera the uh, differences in style on the base coats is a lot more apparent on the camera than it is in, in natural light so I'll do a bit more work on those. They've already had a couple of highlights on the ones I did on the left but actually some slightly blunter highlights uh, will get the style more consistent so I'll probably just do that on those other front two models, bring them out a bit more uh, to match them uh, with the standard bearer um, uh, and then they'll all be uh, ready to complete my old guard grenadier battalion. Um, I've got some um, base coated, still going to do the webbing uh, British infantry, so I'll, uh, I'll do those during the course of today and perhaps just do another couple of videos showing how I do the high highlighting and finish those ones off. Anyway, uh, catch you soon, bye. Here we go, here are the uh, finished old guard. Uh, you can see them based up now, um, a little bit of PVA glue, uh, you can still see the white there that will dry transparent as I'm sure you know and I've uh, put on a few more vivid highlights on the front two great coats and I think they match in now well with their uh, compatriots that took a uh, minute or so. Um, so really really pleased with how they look and I think they look a uh, very good match to the ones uh, I bought. So um, I bought a couple of bases um, so I've now done a six base battalion uh, so they will go and join their colleagues in the cupboard and also couple of uh, old guard casualty bases as well there. So uh, old guard is all ready to go now so I now have, um, let me think, I have 
four battalions of uh, Old Guard, two of Grenadiers and two of Chasseurs, three in full dress and this battalion in great coats. And then I've got four battalions of Middle Guards, all in great coats, um, all of them Perry figures. Um, so, uh, as I've mentioned before, Young Guard is my next objective. Um, but uh, I'm going to be focusing on uh, finishing off the British. And as you can see, I have another box uh, of Perrys there to make up. So they will help me do the three more stands to go with the uh, figures down there uh, to complete off the KGL battalions. Anyway, uh, back uh, in a minute. Here's the next batch, just on the base coats finish those. I'll come back and then show you them after I've started applying the highlights. Right, just done that first set of highlights, and you can see the arms coming out in red and some patterning on the legs, um, and done some white over the cream on the webbing, and, just, and then uh, and I've done a dark wash on the face, uh, and then I'll start picking out the facial details and do some more highlights on the other pieces of equipment uh, in a second. Here we go, and here are some finished British. I'll, I'll base them up in a second. Um, I tend to base them uh, on a uh, mixture of sand and grit. I used to put sand and grit on the base, then paint it, and then highlight it, and then add the flock and the um, bits of uh, tufts of grass. Uh, but in recent years, I've just concluded that's too much effort. I, um, I mix up the sand. Uh, uh, from a number of different sources, so it's got a nice different uh, con um, uh, composition uh, and some nice different colours. Uh, and I work on the basis that, yeah, some of that will come off, but if it comes off, I'll just be able to put it back on again. And once you've covered it with a number of tufts, um, I'd say the painting method doesn't feel uh, worth the huge time and effort involved. Anyway, I'll base these up, and um, I hope you enjoy these videos.